Batman is this? Looky there. It's Catman. Hello, and welcome to Cross Worlds Escape. This is an open world game. I played this game a long while back, and it's a very good game. It's a building game. It's a little bit of everything. You can uh, build your home, so construction. Uh, has a little bit of everything you want in a game of this style. Uh, you craft, build, hunt, uh, do everything to manage your life. It has weather effects. Uh, mountains have snow on them, which we're not high enough right now to do that. As you see, there's animals here. There's deer and uh, all kind of animals in the game. Uh, other kind of creatures as well. And as you see up yonder, I think that's a goblin up that way or some kind of creature. We need to get other stuff to be able to kill him though. So I've got to make some weapons real quick. So uh, we'll get some wood and some things. That is clay right there. Uh, like I say, it's, it's an open world game. Uh, we'll uh, get some bark here right quick and uh, it's got different biomes in it it's got desert it's got grasslands it's got mountains it's got snow it's got uh, hot and cold and you've got to survive all these different biomes and all to be able to uh, be able to uh, manage. You've got to design your clothes, uh, not design them, but make your clothes to withstand the uh, seasons. You have spring, uh, summer, uh, fall, winter, and uh, you have to collect a little bit of everything. Excuse me. Uh, we got to make all our tools. Uh, used to be you could chop down trees with just beginning knife, but this is all we have in the beginning. So we've got to get enough stuff to try to create us an axe to begin with. So uh, I'm just trying to get up a little bit of stuff here. And it's just about like any other game. You just hit your E key. Let's get a little bit of stone here. The knife is not efficient for this, but uh, once we get us a, a pick here, we'll be able to do something a little bit better. Uh, let's make us an axe. We've got to get some rope here. Oh, where's it at? Make as much rope as we can. We gotta have some sticks. We gotta have ten sticks. See if we can pick up another stone or two, maybe. Okay, set me right on top of a hill. I've never really been set right on top of a hill like this. Boy, this is steep. But like I say, it's an open world game. You can go anywhere you want. And it's dangerous out there. It really is. And as you see, we're getting berries, which also increases your food and your water consumption, or your water to be able to survive. And uh, 
we get some more bark here. Bark will help make the rope. But uh, there's different creatures. Uh, the biomes have uh, kind of like a wolf type creature standing on uh, two legs or whatever. But uh, I forget what they're called. But uh, need to get a bow off to start with so we can get some uh, leather because we need to increase our backpack. I want to get down in the lower land to start with. Let's see if we can uh, create that. Yes. All right, that's our axe. Gotta get us a tree. Get a few more stones here. Like I say, the knife's not efficient for that, but that's all we got at the moment. And uh, don't let the graphics fool you, but the game is, is very, very nice. Um, Let's see, what do we need to make here? Planks. Can't make any more right now. How many do we have to have for that? Oh, we got enough. Okay. We have that, so we'll move that there. And then we can chop up some stone. And we'll be able to get more stone with the pickaxe. Ah, oh, deer. See the deer running? Okay. Now we need to gather stuff and get us a... Usually if you see the deer running, something's chasing it. Unless it got too close to us and got frightened but I'm trying to get uh, sticks and uh, wood like the desert out there. Let's see if we can create us up a bow yet. Alright, we got a bow. We've got 19 out of 20 things. Can we create? Yes, we can. He's right beside us. So, let's put this bow on. See, I moved. See, we've hit him now. He gets slower. So, now we'll lose all. And we've got to see if we can make a backpack. We need five rope. Okay, we have 25 slots now. Good. 
seed up some of them berries. And we get our water back up. We also have to build tanning racks, tan the leather, make your water skins to put uh, water into to go on your journeys, which will make things uh, traveling on a journey to go a lot further. Let's see here, foundation. Wooden foundation, planks and bark. So you see what we're gonna need. Planks. A lot of planks. Now bark. Nothing to do but cut trees now. Cut a lot of trees, start trying to find foundations and stuff. So we want to find water is one main thing. We want to try to find some water. A water source. We want to keep going. Hopefully we can find a water source. And what we hope for is that uh, we can uh, find a water source. Ah, I was going to get my bow out right quick and try to get him. He's running all around here. I'm getting wood. If I really want bark without cutting the trees, you can uh, use your knife just to get bark. Ah! Like I can go to this tree right here and use nothing but my knife and it gets only bark without cutting the tree. And you can come back to the trees ever so often and get bark. But like I say, you can get six to about nine bark per tree. Maybe more. It just all depends. But I usually stop and go on to the next one. Try to get as much bark as I can. Keep moving on. I wonder which tree I'm hitting on here. It looks like two of them growing close together. I want to try to find enough to, uh, or get enough to put down a couple foundations. And see, when it disappears like that, that's whenever I'll go to the next tree. But see, we got some meat down there, and we'll have to cook that. And you can usually start off with a, uh, kind of like a tutorial, but it's a, uh, a beginning thing. Yet I asked you that, but I bypassed it because I've done been through it many times, so I didn't want to go through it. But, uh, and it'll tell you what to build and what to do. Uh, that's dragonflies. Uh, but I want to get enough bark do uh, some foundations so when we find some water I want to at least be able to put down maybe a couple foundations close enough around water of 
because it's always good to be uh, in those close proximities to a few things like that. And I don't know if I said, but that white uh, little uh, wispy thing following us, it's kind of like a, uh, it's your buff. Uh, you'll learn what to do with that once you put a, uh, it's like a statue thing up that uh, you'll be able to uh, put whatever buff on that you want to put on at certain times to help you in a certain area that you want to be helped in. Okay. Okay. I don't see water out across there anywhere. All right. Water, water, water. Where are you at? And it does have an encumbrance amount. creatures are right mean when they get on you they can do some damage let's see 21 or 25 let's see what kind of we can make some more arrows we need stone right now to make more arrows uh, we need a lot of planks don't we create a fire. I'm going to put down a fire somewhere. Where is that at? A fire. I know I'm probably overlooking it. As many times. Oh, here they are. Campfire. Stone. Got to find that stone. Just kind of move around to the little hard pieces. You'll get a lot of stone off of uh, some certain ones. Them other kind like these right here, some of them will have uh, iron in them. And you'll run across some of the others that will have, uh, that are nothing but iron. Let's see, we got a couple stacks of leaves. We don't really need that much more leaves right now. Okay, berries. Let's go buy a berry plant somewhere. Make a few more arrows because I know we're going to need them. I think 20 arrows. Okay. Don't see any water yet. But we're looking. I would love to be close to that uh, desert over there too because you need sand to make glass. What we got was two berries that all that. That didn't seem right at all. And you can throw away what you 
don't want. If you got too much of a good thing, you just throw it away. Like leaves. There's so much leaves, we can just always throw that away. Sticks, we can drop them. And berries, we just eat them. Because we got to keep that water up. And mushrooms, you pick them up and you can cook them, but don't eat them raw. All right. Oh, this might be water over here in this little uh, gully area. Maybe. I don't know. I'll do a little run in here. See what's over here. It may not be nothing. No. I thought it might have went down to a little uh, gully down in there. And there's volcanoes in this game and a little bit of everything. But I did want to bring this game up and play a little session of it and show it to you and do a little walk around and look in it. Like I say, they still up grading it and updating it and doing a little bit of everything to it and I still like to play it. So uh, I'll put a link to it down below. And there's fortresses in here. You got to watch out. And there's places. There's all kind of things. Ah, this is a water source right up here. Look at here. We have found water. We have located water. Looky here. Oh, this is nice. Yes. I might build right up here. We know that the... Uh, we know that the... Uh, and there's caves. Yes, there is caves. So, I tell you what. I'm going to call the game right in here. And... Uh, I might run a few episodes of this and we'll take a good look at it and that way you can judge on whether you might want to get it and try it or whatever. Like I say, the name of it is Cross Worlds Escape. It's a very nice game, very dangerous, very playable all at the same time. But like I say, All subscribes, likes, shares, and comments are always welcome. And as always, bless you and have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.